You know, it's really quiet in this room, too. What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to the final episode of Deltarune. Yep, this is going to be it for now. I mean, depending on when I actually edit and upload this, just know that the time I'm recording this at, Deltarune Chapter 2 is the one that just came out. So I don't know how soon Chapters 3 and the rest is going to come out, but all I know is Chapter 2 is the latest one. So... That's what we're here doing today. This should, this will be the final episode, final thing. If I edit it in time, I'm I'm hoping that uh by the time that the rest of it comes out, this won't be uploaded yet. It depends on how long it takes though, because if it comes out like next year, then maybe. But if it's like in a few years, like the time between one and two, could be that. But it depends. But let's look around the computer lab for now. So it's a recycling bin. Looks like someone accidentally printed off a lot of useless emails. It's a computer. It's not. It's nothing but a blue screen. Looks like it crashed. Oh, we crashed the computers. A dolphin screensaver is advertising some kind of malware. We can't look at the laptop. Okay. It's a computer. The monitor is flickering brightly. It's a computer. The monitor is flickering brightly. Not with these. Yeah, okay. What about the trash can? It's a trash can. You get the feeling it doesn't have any friends. It's hard to explain why you feel this way about a trash can. Oh my gosh. Let's go in here. The closet is spacious and full of old electronics. A large person could easily fit inside. Maybe there is a large person inside. It's full of backup devices like extra mice, extra keyboards, extra maracas. Various posters talking about internet safety. Oh, there's a Ferris wheel poster. That's why they were in this city. You suddenly thought about how your day might have been different. If the poster with the orange cat was still on the wall. There was a poster with an orange cat. There was a Garfield poster up here. I'm hoping Lancer is safe, because I actually, <laughs> I didn't even think to go back and check on him. I feel bad. I hope he's okay, though. Let's leave the computer lab. Before you left, you gathered up everything in the room. Can I go back in? No more reason to go back in there. Can we go upstairs finally now? We can. Oh, this guy. I love reading books. Especially the books upstairs. It's, it's book one about souls. Read it. Ooh. The soul has long been called many things. The font of our compassion. The source of our will. The container of our life force. But even now, the true function of it is unknown. Interesting. How to Care for a Human. It's a book for monsters on how to care for humans. <laughs> Let's look in the back. According to the card in the back, looks like your mother took it out repeatedly many years ago. <laughs> I see, that makes sense. There are photos of unfamiliar humans inside. Shut the book quickly. Um, okay. So Chris doesn't want to remember humans is what it sounds like. For whatever reason. Okay, is there another book about souls? No. Okay, so maybe this guy will move down per chapter and we'll get more and more books about souls. The book of magic tricks. Most of them require orbs or floating hands. That's a reference to Toriel because you fought her in the first game. Oh yeah, we saw that. Okay. God flavor text. No, not, let's not, we don't need to read the diary again. What about this? This is Tammy's book. The crew drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. Well, let's leave. Oh, it's Susie. Man, it got late, didn't it? Guess you should go home, huh? Alright, you don't have to say it. Don't want to walk home by yourself, huh? Well, if you're gonna make me, I guess. Let's go. Actually, I'm not going home. I want to explore the city a bit. Like, look around and see what there is here. Oh, this is back in the school. Okay, yeah, let's look around the school a little bit. Oh, what? <laughs> Tammy's in here. <laughs> Tam still study. Study hard. Tam get a smart, go cool, a tea dream. Then Tam become... Tam become... 
Haha, <laughs> as if you could even envision it. Whoa. Tam Tammy, okay. Hello, Tammy. I want to explore the school a bit more. What if I drink from the water fountain again? It's lukewarm. So let's go in here again. Oh yeah, it said we need this. The Throne of the God. So I wonder what that one room that we need the Throne of the Gods was for, and if we can go back to that world. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something with the Throne of the Gods. I mean, I did check it every time. I just didn't, I didn't see anything new with it. But maybe I was missing something, I don't know. But it said we needed the Throne of the Gods, so do we have to bring it with us somehow? I don't know. Yeah, look, here it's still the same. What if I try to go in the closet? Oh, I can actually go back in. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, hold on. Let's check on Lancer then. Oh, the queen's here. So, this is your castle town. It's... Not bad. Chris, Susie, on behalf of everyone I oppressed, thank you. I'm going to be your wacky roommate now. Okay, hold up, there's stuff to explore in here too. Oh yeah, let's walk let's walk over here, hold on. Chris, I better you have a lot of people to talk to. But you don't have to do everything at once. Save and take a break anytime you want. Oh, Rossi's here too. Okay, it's just saying I don't we can uh take our time exploring here, but I mean we like just started the video. You thought about how you can't go back to the cyber world anymore. You consider this carefully. Oh, is that- that's why they're telling me to be careful with my save. Let me save on a new file, just in case. Because look, because we can go back to the Queen's Mansion if we need to. Because it, it feels like the game was telling me that if there, there, we might need to go back there at some point. I want to find Lancer, though. That's what I really want to do. Oh, look, these guys are here now. Why is there- Oh my god, it's so cute. Young masters, thank you for such a wide space to clean. The people here have such clean hearts as well. Tsukiri, oh my god, he's made friends. What a wonderful place, thank you. This town, not that restaurant. It looks weird, I'm not going in. Yeah, let's look around. Oh, look, there's more friends here. Uh huh, huh, I wonder if she'll be back. Hey, boss, we're just about reminiscing about fighting you. Oh, look, this thing. Thanks for getting rid of Queen. Yeah, this form is much cooler, so I'm keeping it. Oh my gosh. We can head in here if we want to now. Does he have more challenges for me now? Let me check. Oh, yeah, he did. Task Manager. Chapter 2 All-Stars. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do these yet. Because, I mean, we're basically at the end of the game now. I don't have a reason to use those. But maybe when Chapter 3 comes out, I'll actually use that stuff. But for now, we don't need it. But yeah, I wonder... I hope that... Oh, no, we don't need that stuff. Okay, let's go into the castle. Oh yeah, look, <laughs> this guy has hair now, the ball. With this windfall, I've ceased to be spherical. Newbert, you're one of a kind. Newbert made friends. Newbert had your wild ride, time to settle down. Give my riches to the weak. The trash can here. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm trashy. I bet I'm gonna make a lot of new friends. Oh, who is this guy? He's scary. Yeah, let's go look around. How about a strawberry cake as a warm room warming gift? There's a slice of cake in your fridge, Susie. But it's not cauldron fresh. Mm -hmm. It's a fresh cake. Yeah, I want to look around a bit. So is there room for Queen up here now, too? Is that what's going on? <gasps> Lancer's okay. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> you know, Lancer and Queen look pretty similar, though. Suzy Chris, toothpaste boy. Queen is teaching me all sorts of things about being a bad guy. She's like, how do I put this? A third father to me. A mo He doesn't know what a mother is. A girl dad, if you will. You mean mom? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, this entire castle is now my room. Um, I was going to set up something upstairs. Why, I already have everything I could ever want. Friendship, fans, and a small round boy. Now go and play with your friends, Peach Boy. Peach Boy, Peach Boy! I keep ending up in this situation. Can't say I'm a fan. Or can I? Because he's literally a fan. Oh yeah, let's put some of that stuff in the rooms now. Like Susie, yeah, Susie's statue's here. <laughs> Jealous of my cool statue, Chris? Huh? What? No, it's not me. It's just cool. Damn, there's everything in here. Oh, yeah, same thing. 
Now let me go look at my room, just see what's in there. Oh yeah, this thing's in here. This maybe isn't the, the best thing in your room. Gosh. Right, let's go check out Lancer's room, and then we're gonna head back up. Yeah, this all seems the same, okay. I can't- I still- Lance's room, my god. Okay, what's over here again? Oh yeah, this was downstairs with all the prisoners. Anything new in here? Oh yeah, can we talk to him again? You may have bested me, but... You'll soon face someone more fearsome, more tyrannical than you could ever imagine. Queen? We already met her. What? Wow, nice hamster wheel. So you too have come to humiliate me. No, I am serious, it's cool. <laughs> that water bottle, however. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Do not speak ill of the royal water bottle. It's nothing compared to the one at my mansion. Materialistic as always. Materialism evaluation denied. I simply give myself the treatment I deserve. You slept curled up on a 30 throne every day. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Enough, wench! What purpose have you here, Queenie Beanie? Just thought I would send a message, Kingy Wingy. That you do not have to worry about Lancer. I will be looking after him from now on. After all, I am. His mother. When was that decided? Arbitrarily, right now. Hmm. Do what you please with the boy. If he cries, bounce him on the ground like a ball. I think it is time to abort this conversation. As you wish. Oh, oh quite sorry, my king. Queen hath a new man in ta about town now. Who? Yeah, who? Uh, I think I left my puzzle on. Post haste! What was that, bro? <laughs> Your eyes. Oh, that was my son's lesser father. Do not calculate someone less than you. <laughs> Be gone! Bye bye, Kingy Winky. By the way, did you want anything from the store? Cashews. Order processed. We have nothing to discuss. Okay. <laughs> so we got a little bit of flavor text there from that. Oh yeah, so we, okay, we've already seen that. Alright, I guess now we can just go back up. We got all that flavor text that we wanted. This is locked. So yeah, I guess now, let's head up to the surface. But yeah, I wonder, well, how do we get the Throne of the Gods into that one room? Because I'm just curious about what it, what it's for. I don't, because like, I really just don't know. Oh, look, he's here. Thanks a lot for the lovely city. It's nearly as good as the one I made in my mine Minecraft. I needed to mine 10 hundred blocks of Bub City and to make my dog three colors. Oh my gosh, they really made a Minecraft reference. There's a hole in the wall, there's nothing in there. Okay. Yeah, just exploring around a bit. Let's go to the right, actually. There might be some more, in some more things to talk to over here. Oh yeah, look, there's way more in here. We didn't come here before. Oh, is that the mannequin I bought? Looks like it costs money just to have a free sample. I'm a worm. I don't understand taxes and values. This place is great. All kinds of new customers. Want a free sample? Just $4.99 to try to buy these clothes. It was the music shops in here now, too. We're building up the area to be a bit more board like The pondmen will be happy, too. Yeah, let's check out the music area. <laughs> we... Oh, to the music room. We don't sell anything. They can play music. Oh, we actually get the whole OST of the game. That's cool. Lantern, cool mixtape, queen. Yeah, look at that. We get the whole OST in here. That's cool. They actually will play the whole thing for us. Yeah, that's cool. They have the whole OST in here. Let's see this one, because that song The <laughs> Lancer. That's a good song. Nice town, Chief. I think we're gonna like it here. Cool city. As thanks, you can listen to all sorts of songs here. Don't think it'll be cheap, though. It's free. What? See ya. That's cool. You can actually just go in there and listen to OST. I wish I had the Chapter 1 songs, too, though. That would make it better, but... I've been training. 
Don't ask what I've been training, though. Alright, let's head back up and then explore around town a bit. We might be here a bit, but I mean, for a little while, but it's okay. This is the final episode, but there's still a lot to do. Um, yeah, let's just go straight down then. Let's get out of here. I just wanted to come see if Lancer was okay, and he is. And so is Rule. Oh, look, Raw saved waves bye to us. Alright, cool. I didn't think we could actually go back in there, though. This door is still locked, okay. So, yeah, now we're walking around town with Susie on our, by our side. Alright, let's just keep exploring, then. Yeah, nothing else at the library. Let's try to talk to Sans real quick. Actually, let's go see Undyne. We can go in the hospital again, I guess. Nah, just here to hang out. I see. Can we play this again? Oh, Chris, you could play the piano? Blink. <laughs> almost thought you were serious for a sec. What's with that pissed off look? Because <laughs> the piano's broken, it's not my fault. Silver Drake, I've never beaten this boss before. Alright, hand it over, honey. I got this. No, Dad. This is my battle. So, um, how about just telling me what to do? <laughs> okay, sir. How about trying fire shot? I'd love to, Dad, but the mage left the party. Oh, yeah. How about one of your 99 blaze potions? Um, I'm saving those? For what, your birthday? Come on, live a little. Okay, Dad. This one's for you. Hiya! It reflects fire attacks. <laughs> Whoops, hey, you got a heal. I wish I knew healing magic in real life. But it'd make you better, and it wouldn't just be me and mom. Your mother is... Hey, it's okay, sweetheart. I'm getting better. Might even be able to go to church tomorrow. Really? Are you sure you're okay? Holidays happen whether you like it or not. Even though everyone likes holidays. Well, gotta go home soon or mom will call. See you tomorrow, honey. Bye, Dad. Love you. Susie, why are you here? Hell if I know. Sorry, guys. This game's only one player. Um, Dad, this is, uh, Susie. Oh, this is Susie. Susie, nice. Heard a lot about you. You, uh, have? Cool, think I have to go now. Susie, huh? Yeah. Put your finger on her and I'll kick your ass. Huh? Ha <laughs> just kidding. Well, kind of kidding. Can we talk to him some more? Sorry, I, uh, used up a lot of my energy just now. Probably not going to be very fun to talk to. Thanks for visiting, though, Chris. And you too, Susie. <laughs> Seems like I need some more tests. So just gotta wait it out. They can't keep me down for too long, baby. Sooner or later, I'm busting out of here. Besides, your dad ain't mu much without his main man. What is it, Chris? Christmas. Look, Chris, I can't say much, but... Well, it look like she has it all. Her mother. Her mother, you know? Love her, but she's tough on her. Normally, I balance it all out. But I can't do much when I'm not there. I'm going to get better. I have to. Now I just feel even worse for Noelle, and especially her dad. What is it, Christmas? About Susie. Hey, Chris, she's a nice girl, huh? The hell are you talking, taking her here for? Why don't you take her to the movies? Hey, yeah, the hell didn't we go didn't we go to the movies, Chris? Yeah, and take me too while you're at it. Yeah, Chris, come on. Kettle corn, Chris, big. Don't skimp out. Do we do we even have a movie theater here? <laughs> That's sync two, Rudy Zero. Don't worry, I'm gonna pull it back. You wait. Because we keep talking to the, the sink when we come here. Whoa, the hell is the hell is bringing you flowers? <laughs> What's wrong with a married man getting flowers? So your uh, wife gave them to you? Nah, <laughs> I'm messing with you. Chris's dad did. I'm gonna try to understand this. It's a chair. <laughs> yeah, same line as before. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, what's in here, actually? Oh, it's Shiren. Looks like she's resting her voice. Yeah, Shiren's in here. It was a different enemy before, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, now it's Shiren. Alright, well... Let's keep... Well, we were going left, so let's keep going left. The police station. Uh-oh. Alphys. Hell, if I'm going any further. Pretty close enough to getting banned from school. 
Don't want to be banned from outside of school, too. That's a thing, right? Alright, let's go. Okay, so I can go talk to Alphys. Which, but she's not going. Hi, Chris. Getting your project done? <laughs> uh, oh, my bike? It's, uh, totaled. I, um, I had a little crash. Uh, you see, there was this p police officer and, uh... It's complicated. How are you doing? <laughs> Complain about the police. Talk about school. Oh, how's your project going with, uh, Susie? What? You went to the library together? With Noelle and Birdly? That's amazing. And, um, well, you were there. This has nothing to do with me, but the Teen Zone seems to have some good anime reviews, you know? Not sure if you and the gang were just checking that out as you studied. Next time you go, you might want to casually bring that up among your fellow teens. I know your dad liked me and Mewtwo, at least. Again, nothing to do with me. Alright, let's see what else we can talk about. Did you need something? Let's complain about the police. Chris, it's no secret the uh, police in this town are... Or, how do I put this? Just, um, eye candy, I guess. Wait, that came out wrong. I meant they're symbolic. They barely do anything. It's because of their... The mayor, there... There... There isn't any crime. Makes me wonder if she even needs the police. Or if they're just getting in her way? Heh <laughs> sorry, I'm just saying what you already know. After all, she's... Your neighbor, right? My neighbor's the mayor. Noelle's mom is the mayor? That's what's going on? Wait. Y'all th Y'all think Noelle's mom is the knight? Hmm. Interesting. Let's keep going. Oh, we can actually go in here now. What the dog doing? Oh, there's all the dogs. Why are the Why are the dogs in jail? I knew it. Naps the block was a Naps the Blue was a police officer. I was right. I'm just glad I was right about that. All right, let's go talk. Hey, get out of the road. Uh, sorry, bad habit. Anything I can help you with, punk? Dark road. Oh, a super dangerous alternate world in the library. More are appearing. People might fall inside. Ha <laughs> ha Listen, punk. Ha <laughs> ha! You seriously think I'm gonna believe that? <laughs> Dark world. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> hey, wait! Nyah, not again! Looks like I gotta recapture those criminals. Hey, by the way, the yellow glasses lady. Is she your teacher? She kind of had an accident earlier with her, uh, bike. Just wanted to make sure she was feeling better. So, uh, give her this. A heart-shaped box of candy to say, get well soon. It has to your bike hastily scrawled underneath the get well soon. Look, get well soon is all the store had. Open it and he'll arrest you. Look, I'll be put a note on it. Now stop interrupting me, I gotta go. You got the previously described box of candies with a note on it. Oh, so it's just like an undertale when she gives you a letter. Well cared for flowers. Photos of Chief Undyne and Depu Deputy Naps the Blue. Undyne is rescuing, rescuing all of Caddy's family from a tree. Naps the Blue is also stuck in the tree somehow. I can't believe all the dogs were in here. I was wondering where like a lot of those dogs were at from Undertale. Oh, jailbreak. I'll sound the alarm. Oh my. He made his mixtape. Oh my gosh. I made the jailbreak alarm my mixtape. It's a nice beat to study or relax to you while you escape from prison. Skimming a news article about Undyne. New police chief's Undyne's explosive debut. Passionate young rookie becomes the new police chief. Though energetic, it may be hard to live up to the legacy. After Asgore Dreamer was removed from the force. There's no need to read anymore. Why was Asgore removed from the police force? Interesting. Yeah, Asgore was removed, like, like just taken off the police force. I wonder. Maybe it's because he's too nice. I don't know. <laughs> but I can't, yeah, I knew Nas Luke was a police officer. It's a beaten bite. The horn looks like it might give a honk of despair. Huh, Chris? You have something for me? Hoard the child. Let's give it to her. Uh, Chris, is why? What is that you're giving me? Uh, a box of heart-shaped chocolates? Well, no, I can't accept that from you. What? It's from the police. You mean she's giving this some um, um get well soon gift to my bike? And there's a note on this that says, "Open this and I'll arrest you, you little punk." Chris, I 
Tell her I, uh, appreciate the notes still on there. See ya. Um, there's no school tomorrow, though. Oh, so there's no school tomorrow. Okay. More police tape. It says, yeah, I mean it. It's not clear what is meant by that. All right, come on, Susie. All right, let's go. So, yeah, we went that way. I think if we go right, isn't there, like, the lake over here? Or is that not by the school? It might be somewhere else. Yeah, it's not by the school. Okay. So, let's go down. Again. And maybe we can run into Sans again. And maybe we can actually see Papyrus. Oh, it's these dudes. Nothing like admiring the paint job me and my bro did on our church. Oh. Missed the spot. <laughs> where did we... Where did they miss the spot, I wonder? Look at this kid! Having a wide open space is great for us kids! Jump down just go to get your freak out! We tried to play baseball, but that kid kept dancing in the middle of the lot. I don't feel like there's any way to stop him. We can go to Town Hall. Oh my god, what is he doing here? Put me in, coach! Put me in! That bald guy keeps trying to show me something from his briefcase. Is it a bribe? I'm really deep into politics now. So is that chair. Well, well, it's in our beloved teens, our beloved rats of the city. You want to get into politics? Heh. <laughs> you better graduate from diaper school first. That's what I did, and look at me now. I don't even work here. Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking for the mayor. She's very, very visible, busy preparing for the festival. There's a festival? Okay. Maybe we'll learn about that next chapter or something. I want to show Susie what's down there, by the way. <gasps> it's them. Oh, Terry, say it again. Say you don't have to go to the bathroom again. I'm not Jerry. I'm Terry. Super cool. I totally don't have to go to the bathroom. Oh my god, he's a cool version of Jerry. Oh yeah, they all say the same. Alright, let's show Susie what's down here. I just want to see if she'll react to it at all. This weird door down here. I wonder if it's changed at all. Oh, Monster Kid's here. You think it's not true? You really think that's... Wait, you chicken? Haha, <laughs> you got a beak and wings like a chicken? No, just... I ain't afraid. Only kids believe that stuff. What about Chris? You're gonna be a weenie like Chris? <laughs> you wanna say that again? Uh, Susie, you didn't see you there. Wow, really something scary in there, huh? Uh... Sounds to me like you'd better worry. About what's out here first! Ah! You okay, Chris? What's the deal with this place? I'm wondering. Well, we don't gotta talk about it. It's locked. I feel like this, maybe, maybe this, maybe that's hinting that this door is gonna be the next dark world. Maybe. Maybe so we'll have like a nature themed dark world. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. But yeah, I just wanted to explore around with Susie here just to see if she reacts differently to any of this stuff. Okay, let's see what's over here. Oh, yeah, this is the cemetery. Let's see if Susie has anything to say about any of these. So, uh, this is your idea of hanging out, Chris? Going to the graveyard? Works for me, I guess. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Oh, yeah, she says the same thing here. Okay. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Gerson. Is this like Gerson's wife or something? Chris, welcome. Did you seek something from me? Gerson. Oh, her father. It's been a few years since my father passed on. As of his famous book series, Lord of the Hammer, we still received condolences from them till just recently. A brave man, brilliant and sharp. Chris, it is a shame you were not able to have him as a teacher. And difficult for Miss Alphys as his replacement. Let us pray that the angel will smile upon her. Alright, let's see. What about Azriel? Ah, Chris, your brother. He is a very kind young man. Perhaps even a little overzealous in his younger days. He would visit me often to confess. To, to confess various sins. Despite the absence of sin or confession or religion, I remember his small face sobbing as he admitted he had dropped the lizard in the pit to jump, to jump high, nearly omitting the fact that he had done so in a video game. He also confessed to various sins on your behalf, begging for your forgiveness for dropping the lizard on purpose. 
I would always forgive him and send him home. Alright, what about Hammer? As per the ritual, a hammer is buried in the earth here. It symbolizes existence. To connect his spirit to the divine. Originally, a smith by trade, he began writing history. And made a, tur made a turn into telling stories. As a means to entertain his children. That such, uh, that such a story created for such a simple purpose could blossom into such a large, wonderful, world-changing thing. That is the majesty of words, Chris. My father was blessed to have such a talent for writing. So we learn more about Gerson. Wait, we saw this. Okay. So I wonder... I wonder why they won't show us her face. Gerson's daughter's face. I heard Av Alvin mumbling to himself as he walked away. Oh! That's his son. Okay. His son's name's Alvin. Are you proud of me, father? And... Is it right for this hammer to... I was, um, I was giving him a girl voice. No, he has nothing else to say. Good day, Chris. May the angel watch over you. Hey, so he's... He didn't really... You know, he wanted to... He still wants to talk to his... His father. Well, let's keep going. Where else can we go? So we went down there already. There's no way right. Okay. So we gotta go back up now. Yeah, the only way up... Oh, to go is this way. And then let's start left and then make our way to the right. Wow, what? Just want to go home, but I'm still stuck in a traffic jam. Even though it's only one other person. This is the same person. This is a great parking place. I can see myself settling down here. But I sees. Oh my god. Oh, we actually get to come in here now. We didn't get to before. Oh, it's Ice Wolf. Double ice pizza. Great. Ice Wolf, big customer. Ice Wolf, maybe only customer. Wow, my co-worker seems so energetic, lady. Oh, this this guy's the ice the nice cream man. I don't know what's happened, but seeing him happy makes me happy too. Oh, a customer. Would you like a blue soft serve? He still sells ice cream. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, stop. Okay. Stop. I don't want to open that. Okay, let's go over here. Little buddy, you aren't gonna believe this. I've got a girlfriend. Asriel, you gotta tell Asriel right now. He's gonna be so proud of me. Huh? What's she look like? Ah, little buddy. How do I put it? I don't actually know. I haven't met her in real life. But from the way she texts? God, little buddy, she must be stacked. Alliance, lie and say you want to hear more. So far, she's the perfect girl, little buddy. She loves pizza and bikinis. And to top it off, she sent me a picture of herself wearing a pizza bikini. Little buddy, perhaps it's uncouth, but look, look at this. God damn several pixels that are vaguely resembled a zoomed-in JPEG of a pepperoni pizza. This man down bad. I feel bad for him. Yes, I know what you're thinking, little buddy. Your camera is not of the highest caliber. But to a scholarly man of the world like myself, this is what love looks like, little buddy. Oh, gosh. Little buddy, here to, here to hear about my girlfriend? That's right. We don't need to say any more. Go ahead and tell Azure right now. What if I ask him to hear more? Oh yeah, same thing, okay. My gosh. So now he's pizza pants. Alright, let's see this guy. The pizza sauce is boiling red. Bubbling, burning like my blood yearns for battle. I, the warrior, shall show it the wizard's fist. Try a new chocolate pizza. Melts in your mouth, in your pants, not in your mouth. Because chocolate melts in your pants. I wanted to check on the sauce. The soda dispensing machine. Inspect. He took a look at the flavors. Water. Ice. Double ice. Bread. Flaming hot cheese soda. Gamer blood energy drink. Juice. Red. <laughs> so he's got a blue soft serve. Alright, well, I guess we can get out of here now. That's cool. We actually got to go in here. What about QC's diner? Well, go in there if you want, but I'm staying here. Caddy's working there today. She hates me. So what if I took Jock Boy's hat once? I look cool. Jockington fans. They're crazy, man. I guess we'll go in. Well, speaking of Jockington fans. Whoa, how do you go, girl? Show these customers who's boss, little lady. Get their tush. Whoa, beat them down. You got this. Our little caddy, she's doing us proud. Working hard, supporting us. Serving us pickles, terrifying us to their shape. Trying to get us to leave. Proud of her. Hey, the truth, I thought this was the post office. But by the time I realized, I had already sat down. I'm not hungry, so I've just been telling the waitress I'm still deciding for 
a few hours now. How am I supposed to get out of this one? Just ignore them. I know. They're embarrassing. Why are they even here? Because <laughs> they care. And they can care somewhere else. What? Golden hair, starry eyes. She is a light. Laughing in the night. Taught her protection spells. Showed her occult findings. But lately she slips into darkness. Chris, you walk among the dark. Protect her. Susie. Talking about Susie. <laughs> My gosh. What? Your boy, heart of gold. Curiosity high. Intelligence low. Fetches frisbees. Dress him up. Carry in a bag. Precious boy. Don't know why. Family. Dad, mom, sister. Ukulele, football games, soap operas. Yelling, standing on tables, afraid of vacuums. Stupid, loud, very loud. Chris, you and I studied a cult together. Incantation for silence. Find it. Tell me. Hey, hon. Hey, hon. How'd you like the hot chocolate? Well, I'm gonna take it. That means you've enjoyed it. Take it easy, okay? I'm sure your brother will be back in no time. I don't even know. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been getting stronger. You could say I'm bulking up for the winter. This guy next to me, he's really bulked up. I admire that. Oh, gee. Little sis in her, in, is so cute in her outfit. Chrissy, like, listen to the song I made about her. Caddy's the best. Caddy's the best. She curses me every day, glares, because I'm in her way. Caddy's the best sister ever. Haha, <laughs> anyway, what's up, Chrissy? Talk more. Oh, gee, Chrissy, you're not going to believe this. I was at the beach playing ukulele, right? And, like, that green alligator evil neighbor girl, like, invaded and started, like, playing my song. With me. Oh, my God. Oh, gee. Like, it was so fun. Haha, <laughs> wait. Isn't she, like, my enemy? Caddy's my friend, and... I support my friends through thick and thin, long and short, cold and hot. Whatever shape thought the world takes, I'll be there. Life is a big game, buddy, and when the f and when the man is on the field, he does a big dunk. Try to be that dunk. We oh, said big ball game. Okay. What's up, Chris? Don't talk more. Oh, well, Chris, you're like in a rush, huh? Okay, don't get stuck in a tree. Mwah, mwah. All right, well, let's get going. See if we could talk to Sans with with her here, with Susie here. Oh my god, Sans' theme plays in here. What is this? That stuff, it's used. Half off. What is it? Trash. Thank gosh. You can't reach the top. Rendering it impossible to get to get to get a basket. You never be able to buy something in this state. Sometimes the hoof girl comes here. Opens the freezer doors. Then stands in front of it, lost in thought. She really likes the cold. Or waffles. Hey, forget something? Why, uh, yes, I think I left my eggs on the counter. Guess your memory's not what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> there was really egg on my face now, is there not? Eh, yeah, you're excused. Now it sounds as if you were egging me on. Egg on or egg off, I expect a lot from you. Well, I am exceptional, hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> oh my god. And don't forget me, your ex husband. He did not. Uh, hello, Asgore. Tori, I didn't expect to see you here, but I have some extra flowers and I was wondering if. Oh, I was just about to go, actually. Uh, haha, <laughs> oh, sure. Almost where the heart is, haha. <laughs> he did not just bust in here and say, It's me, your eggs. <laughs> I don't know why that killed me, oh my god. Also, you know, speaking of this, Sotorial and Asgore are still divorced. But I wonder what the reason is in this universe. Because I know in Undertale, obviously it's because he was murdering humans. But I feel like the reason he's not on the police force anymore has something to do with why him and Toriel aren't together. I just don't know why he would get kicked off the police force, though. I don't know. Maybe it... I feel like that's got something to do with it. Um, so when Asriel comes home... 
Yes, we should all discuss that together soon. Okie donkey, say hi to Chris for me. Of course, have a nice day. I like how Sans just turned around. You know what I want, Bone Man. Yep. Free pickles. Why, thank you. Can I ask, what kind of flowers do you think would make her remember how she felt before? Uh, maybe you should talk to your plants about that. <laughs> don't worry, they're the first ones I asked. They're such good listeners, you know, flowers. Is is that a reference to the to an Undertale? The glow? I forgot what those flowers are called. The blue ones that would repeat everything they heard, and also flowy. That could be two references there about a flower that listens. And Sans was also talking about in Undertale that flower that was telling Papyrus things. So yeah. Well, yeah, nothing like a captive audience. Yes, haha, -ha, I even keep them in a glass. Uh, like that movie. Yes, it's it's very similar to that movie. Well, have a good one. Is this the first time Sans and Asgore have ever interacted, by the way? And it, of course it's awkward, because Sans and Toriel have such good chemistry, and then Asgore is like, you know, Egg's husband. But yeah. Oh, uh -huh, I'm trying. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> hey, Chris, uh... Uh, never mind. <laughs> What's this? Yeah, I'm the sicko that looks that looks at all the milks to find the best expiration date. You got something about it? It's a sicko. Various frozen bagels and treats. Hey, Chris, want to see if we can fit inside? If you just crouch down under the waffles. Damn, I think someone's looking. Lo loose eggs, one dollar. It's too much responsibility for an egg. It's a sign for j for a Jockington fan. Seems popular. I see Pizza Pins magazine. Ma Mongazine? Is that what that said? Hot and fresh cheese pepperoni, just like your dreams. Hot pizza pics. Now with three pixels or more in hot hands, hot and spicy resolution. Okay, let's move over. There's some car magazines on the rack. Might be fun to look at them. But there's other people around. Okay, yeah, the Jockington thing again. Okay, yeah, same thing. We'll talk to Sans in a second. What's this? It's a rock. It's a rack of candy, jerky, and various nuts. See, jerky is candy, and uh, peanuts too. Actually, they're a legume. Peanuts? Jerky. How about we don't look at anything? It's gonna make him say something stupid. Bacon's are looking slim, ma'am. Oh my gosh. We'll talk to him in a second. Grapes, melons, oranges, and, and coconuts shells. Oh yeah, walnuts, peanut. Anyway, the scent of fresh pineapples. Wait, grapes, melons, <laughs> walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. Grapes, melons. Did they just reference the DK rap in Delta Rune? What? They didn't. They did not just reference the DK rap. <laughs> they did not reference the DK rap. I refuse to. <laughs> This game really referenced the <laughs> DK rap. Oh my gosh. They, Toby, Toby Fox really just threw in the DK rap. Looks like a normal <laughs> basket of fruit, but when you reach in, it's incredibly deep and holds all sorts of things. This has got to be something to do with Sans. But you know, let's talk to him. What if I ring the bell? I just keep ringing it. Sans not going to do anything? Guess not. Hey, what's up? Alright, let's see. See, brother, that's what I want. By the way, about my brother. Looks like you won't be able to meet him today. Come on. This is Toby Fox talking to us directly. Yeah, it's a bummer when things don't work out. Sorry about that. I'm sure you'll meet him someday. Maybe around when your brother comes home? Oh, Sans knows something. So when Azrael gets back, that's when we'll see Papyrus? Hey, what's up? Let's talk about his occupation. Hey, you're the boss around here? Me? I'm just the janitor. Then where's the cashier? Cashier? We don't have one. Then who do we buy stuff from? Me. Then that makes you the cashier. Nope, I'm just the janitor. I'm just filling in. Are there any other employees? Nope. Then why don't you hire someone else? Oh, you think I can afford that on janitor's salary? Hey, what's up? Hey, welcome to the convenience store. You wanna buy something? Put it in a basket and bring it here. In case you didn't know what a store was. Gosh. <laughs> One was the throne of gods. This is the throne of evils. 
bet if we bring the throne of gods here, we can use it. Nothing. Take it easy. All right. Let's get out of here. You kids came out of the library, didn't you? Studying. How wonderful. Personally, I hate libraries, but... What? Libraries are outdated. We have things like newspapers now. Knock, knock, knock. Faintly, faintly, a trozo growing further away. Oh, I want to see Papyrus. Toby, please. Oh, we can't today. Okay. Ooh, is that a human? If humans are made of bones, where does the skeletons come from? Where do skeletons come from? Right, is my knocking power better yet? Hmm, that knocking, it's amateur. You've still got a long way to go. What well, if we let Susie do it? No, Susie can't knock, I guess. You, uh, Chris? Haha, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> oh, is that the kid? We're not the hanging out with you if a Susie's with you. Hey, Susie sucks. Why don't you stop her? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, the, the ha-has. That's how I can tell it's Monster Kid. Oh my god, Caddy's back here. <laughs> like, little Chrissy, you hear that? Uh, guy at the pizza place? God, what was his name? Pizza Pants? He heard he got, like, a super hot girlfriend. What was her name, like? Haha, <laughs> Pizza Arena? <laughs> anyway, what did you, like, want to talk of? Susie. Oh, gee, it's, like, so sweet. You have a nasty, dirty little friend. But, like... This is my polluted alleyway, so, like, I think I might have to go to the mayor and get a traffic sign that says, like, no plus ones because, like, okay? Alright, let's talk to her. Chrissy, like, guess what? Today I, like, went to the beach to play my uke, and, like, guess who's already there? That copycat playing the same song I wanted to play. Oh my god, cat on the beach. Grody. Did she, like, get lost looking for the little litter box? So, like, I try to, like, play the same song, too. To, you know, assert my ukulele dominance. And we end up, uh, get this, playing the whole song together. Like, oh my god, who does, who does that girl think she is? She thinks she can just, like, harmonize with me? Oh, I can't stand her. Gosh. Hey, Chris, this, this free milk, it's amazing. Just magically refreshes itself overnight. Gosh. Um, hey, that's my trash from other people's houses? Like, privacy much? God, living with Azzy made you weird. Because I, I want to dig in your trash. Okay. Let's go. Wasn't there a... Where's the... Maybe it's up one more to to get to the... um To where... Like the lake. That's what I'm trying to get to. I think it's up one more. Unless... No, isn't up just my house though? Okay, no, it's not. Okay. So let's go over to the lake. That's the next... Oh, frog it! Ribbit, ribbit. I sometimes hear beautiful singing from that house over there. How eerie. Could it be a ghost? Yeah, is it Metaton in here? What, what, what? If you're looking for Blueki, they aren't here. Unless you're looking for someone else. You. Me, me, me? What have I got to say to you? Nothing. I can't even recognize a pathetic face like that. By the way, say hi to your dad for me. What, wait, don't do that. He doesn't know I... Nothing. Alright, let's. we're looking for someone else. Fine, fine, fine. Want to talk to someone else? Here. Oh my, someone's here to see me. It's you again, is it? Is it, my darling? Oh my, why do you keep coming to our door? Are you a fan of mine? As if someone like you could be a, could be a fan of a nobody like me. Well, if you are a fan, could I bother you for a favor? Since the internet went down, I haven't had much entertainment. If you have anything entertaining, darling, could you bring it by to me tomorrow? It would mean the world to me. Thank you. So tomorrow, okay. Didn't we have to do something for Sans tomorrow? Or today, I guess? My brother's too old to take... For a walk anymore. Hmm. I'm lame, aimless. Wish I had someone to whip me in the shape. Oh, th this was also an Undertale monster. Wanted to buy flowers, but the store's closed. The door around back's unlocked, but I don't think I should go in. Closed. <laughs> it's your dad's truck. The floor. Oh, it's still the same thing. Let's go over here. Oh, it's the clam girl. There is a whole thing with the clam girl in Undertale, but I'm not even going to talk about it yet. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Listen up, see that weird circle on the beach? Yesterday I waited on it and something weird came out. Of course, it's not yesterday anymore, so too bad. Yeah, I was talking to my girlfriend about it actually, and apparently if you wait on this circle long enough, Onion San comes out. I didn't know that, because like last time I came here, I just tried to interact with the circle. I didn't think to stand here and wait. But oh well. Let's just leave. Let's try to go into the store though. There's a door behind the flower shop. 
But there's flowers blocking the way. So it's unlocked, we just can't get in. So yeah, I think that's Metaton's house. This is the cat's house. There's some kind of scratching and hissing from inside. There's some kind of, yeah, same thing. Okay. What is it? Oh, the broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. There's a cat flap. It's locked. Somehow. <laughs> what about over here? Okay, this is an ornate gates lock. I guess we just gotta go home now, so let's go. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I explored everything I could. We talked to Sans. We tried to talk to Papyrus. Didn't, I know, didn't Sans want us to say something to him today, though? I'm pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure we did all of the options we could with Sans, right? Well, I don't know. Let's just go home now, since we're here. It's your mom's van. Alright, well, I guess I'm going in. Chris, you going home? Huh? Um, sure, alright, yeah. Uh, I guess we are just gonna go home. Okay. Alright. And, I guess it's goodbye for today. See you tomorrow, Chris. Chris, I was studying with you. Hi, Chris, is that your friend? Why don't you invite her inside? Uh, I mean, I, uh... Chris, I should, um, probably get going in. I was going to bake pie. Did you want any? Guess I could come over for a bit. <laughs> Feel free to come in. <laughs> Susie. Oh, excuse me. I am Chris's mother, Toria. I yes, ma'am. I remember. Oh, you do? And you are Susie, are you not? Uh, huh? You, um, remember my name, too? Of course, Miss, Miss Alphys is a good friend of mine. She often talks about you. Um, glad to hear it. Chris, the hell is Alpha saying about me? Susie, why don't you wash your hands over there? Then we can make the pie together. Make it together? Uh, but I don't know how to. Do not worry, I can teach you. Okay. She's just looking up around the house. Chris, Susie seems like a nice girl. I am very happy you are friends with her. But, Chris, I heard from Alpha about her behavior. If by any chance she uh, influences you, uh, leave the chalk alone, all right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hands, uh, washed. I like how she's just standing at attention. Wonderful. Now we can... Oh, Chris, how about you show Susie how to bake? Chris, you know how to make pie? The hell have you made me any damn dumbass? You pie-hoarding piece of... I mean, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Susie, you can just call me Toriel outside of school. Oh, okay, sweet. Huh, Chris? Oh, you need to wash your hands too? Then, I suppose I shall teach Susie for now. Susie and I will start getting ready to make the pie. Uh, we will? Wait! Do I get to, yeah, I get to walk around now. It's the TV. Cheerio, yep. Oh, I didn't, you know, I didn't think about trying to call, um, home. Chris, the phone is going. Would you mind getting it for me while I... Chris, why are you calling our house number? Yeah, I didn't try to use my phone while I was out with Susie. I didn't think about it. Okay, let's look around. Chris, this is not the time to sneak some chocolates. Chris, give me some at least. Okay, I guess we gotta go to the bathroom. I wonder if it happens if I just keep... No, oh, it won't let me do it anymore. No need for it. Okay. I guess I just gotta wash my hands then. Yeah, I can't even leave till I wash my hands. Okay. It's the bathroom sink. Will you run the tap? No. The tap will be waiting until you choose to run it. Yeah, because we literally can't do anything else, so... Let's run the tap. It started to run. It's making a lot of noise. Um. Uh... Chris? You good there, pal? Kurt. Is he gonna do it? Um. Okay, he threw us under the sink. Why did he punch himself? Like, what is he doing?
He's going out the window? And leaving the tap on? He just fell out the window. Well, let us get the flower. So that's this bag and you just... Oops. <laughs> Susie, you have a flower on your nose. Uh, I meant to do that. Thought you would stop to smell the flower, eh? <laughs> uh, achoo. Uh, come on. Now on to the next part. So they can't hear the... Do they not hear the water running? So where the hell heck is Chris? Oh, Chris uh, does this sometimes. Well, they should hurry. I'm getting sleepy. Do you know what they call a sleeping Susie? Huh? What? They would call her a snoozy. Uh, ha, ha. Then, I guess you'd be a uh, snoriel. Ha, <laughs> Snoriel. Snoozy and snoriel. Uh, <laughs> you really like that one, huh? Wasn't it funny? Are we not going to talk about Chris yeeted out the window? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, where the hell is Chris? Toriel? The pie is nearly done. Oh, the sugar. Wait a moment, I left it in the car. Okay. So she's gonna go outside now? Even Toriel said, where the hell is Chris? Oh wait, he's coming back? Why did he jump out in the first place? Yeah, he leaped back in. What did he go out for? See, him leaving us here so we don't know what he's doing, and we don't control him. You gonna turn the water off now? Oh, now he's washing his hands. What? And now he's bringing us back? For what? What was that about? Your hands are clean. What about the window? What was that about? So it's it's weird, because Chris... Because, you know, he's... Like, in the first in the first night, he ripped us out so he could just... Like, I guess he just went to go eat the pie after he ripped us out, right? But he's also putting us back and letting us control him again, even though he doesn't want to be controlled. So maybe he... I don't know. He's got some... I feel like he's got some sort of, like, secret plan going on. But what did he jump out the window for? What did he go do? Because he jumped out, did something, and then came back in. And, like, he doesn't want to be controlled. Maybe he can't live without... I think that might be it. He doesn't want to be controlled. But he can't actually stay, like, living without a soul inside of him. Maybe it's only, like, for a little bit. He can leave the soul, and then he has to put it back. But that gives him... That gives us control over him. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure, that you know, the Red Heart is the soul. So maybe he's ripping out his soul to go do... Like, maybe he's setting something up so he can live without needing us. Something like that. I don't know. But let's get... Let's go out here. Hey, Chris. Hurry up next time. We're already almost done. So, what's next? Oh, uh... The pie. We already worked quite hard, have we not? How about we finish it later? Um... Okay. Toriel noticed something. Is the sugar gone? Then, uh... Guess I'll walk home? Oh, no, no, no. There's no need to do that. Oh, actually, Susie, would you like to stay over? Huh? I mean, um, if it's okay, then... Here, look at this. Our couch is used to, is used to being used as a bed. It's not perfect, but we could, could all sleep out here. She said the couch is used, is used to being used as a bed. She talking about Asgore? Man, that sounds good to me, yeah. Splendid. I will make sure everything is in order. Yeah, she gave up on the pie. Maybe she either noticed something. Just call your parents, will you not? Yeah, of course. She must have noticed something that's happening with Chris. Or something like that. So what the hell? A sleepover? Damn, I haven't had one of those in forever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Chris. It's not like someone has to tell you to sit, right? There, chill out for a sec. So now what? I got it. Maybe between the pillows here? There, knew I'd find the remote in there. Now I find good stuff wedged into the couch. 
Jeez, it's dusty. When's the last? When'd you last use this thing? Well, who cares? Let's just watch TV. So what are we gonna marathon tonight? Blood Crushers Three, Hell Hellbusters, Invasion of the Invasion of the Cat Feathers. <laughs> Maybe I see the movies you more your speed, huh, Chris? <laughs> <sighs> it's been a good day, huh, Chris? You, Ralsei, Lancer, everyone. It's just cool hanging out together, right? That's why, you know, don't you think we should try to have them come to our world? Come on, think about how much better it would be. Ralsei could do our homework, Lancer could live under your bed, we could all walk to school together. It'd be perfect, you know? I mean, we'd be unstoppable is what I'm saying. You know what? Let's do it. Yeah, that's the attitude. Uh, what if Rossi became a teacher's pet, though? Or not, if... Or not if, just feels like a matter of time, honestly. I wonder how Tori would react to seeing the Rossi. Well, whatever. As long as he brings me an apple, too. What, apple shampoo? No, I didn't, I didn't drink any of that. Well, whatever. Let's just get back to watching. So the festival's coming up, right? That thing where the town becomes a carnival? Stupid, right? But say, you had to, uh, take someone. Noelle or Alsi? Hmm. I'm gonna say Susie. Huh? huh? Way to dodge the question, dumbass! I mean, if I went, obviously you'd be there too. That goes without saying, right? Look, let's just get back to watching TV. Now this is what I'm talking about. The giant monster movie special. I always like them better than the giant human movies. Now this is something we can marathon. Are you ready, Chris? For 12 hours of build ba building bashing, car crunching action? Because we are locked in, got it? I better not see you move until your eyes are bloodshot. <laughs> now let me just get comfortable here. and she gonna pass out. There. Yeah, I knew it. Immediately passes out. What was that? Oh, that's her snoring. Susie fell asleep. Where's Toriel? Where'd she go? Oh. Chris? Oh, he fell asleep, too. I was like, what happened? And yeah, where did Toriel go? Officer? Officer? Thank goodness, I finally got through. I thought I saw someone prowling around outside. And when I checked our car, the tires looked like they'd been slashed. She, is that her own cell phone or like a walkie-talkie? It looks more like a walkie-talkie to me because it looks like a stick. Is it, is it like Asgore's old walkie-talkie from when he used to be a police officer? I don't know. Officer, if you could please come over. You will? Soon? Thank you. They're already asleep. Yeah, she fell asleep and the TV turned off. Is Chris about to get up? I got a feeling. Do I get to move or something? No, okay. Oh, Chris got up. He's gyrating? Vibrating? He ripped out his soul again. Or ripped us out, I guess. Is more accurate. These, oh, he put us between the couch cushions. But you notice how he starts moving all slow and stuff when he removes his soul? What is he doing? Is he trying to make it look like someone broke in? He's going to do something and pin it on someone else? What? He stabbed the earth? Wait, he's making a fountain? Chris is the knight? Chris is the knight? 
Or is like the knight possessing Chris? So Chris has been cause because remember, um Birdly was about to stab the ground and create another fountain. The TV. Is that gonna be our next world, the TV? Chris is the knight. What is that smile? It looks like Lancers, kind of. Is the TV our next world? With that giant this monster movie? And that's how it ends. Okay, what a cliffhanger. Okay, hold on. This might be an extra long episode, but it's fine. Oh, I, should, I just realized GG DG work on or DG worked on this game. They did um a cucumber quest, which I've actually started reading. I didn't finish it, but I gotta keep reading it. Okay, that ending revealed a lot. So the only thing I'm curious about is why are they keeping the soul? Because Chris, you know, keeps ripping out the human soul, doing something, then putting it back in. Also, why did Chris go and slash the tires? He doesn't want. He didn't want Toriel leaving for some reason, because she's the one who can drive. And he slashed her tires because he didn't want her to leave for some reason. But I'm wondering if that's if maybe like the true Lightner is our is the soul, not Chris himself, to be continued in chapter three. Yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna talk a little bit more unless there's gonna be an extra scene here or something. But let's let's look for let's wait for a second and then I'll talk. Okay, no, that's the end right there. Okay, so. Okay, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit. So, yeah, as I was saying, Chris keeps ripping out the human soul. Like, the soul that he has within him. And then putting it back in. But like I said, notice how he gets all sluggish and slow. Before he, you know, like, after he rips out the soul. I'm thinking maybe the soul is actually keeping him alive. And that he can't fully live without it. Maybe that's... Maybe that's why he's creating the fountains. But then why would he... I guess because the soul lets us control him. But why would he allow us... Cause he just stabbed the ground and created another dark world i'm assuming which i'm guessing that means he created the other ones too but why is he also letting us fix them because what he could do is just like like for example in the cyber world just now he could have just ripped the soul out again and then stabbed the ground himself so i wonder what i'm wondering what his bigger plan is he wants us to to fix the the black geysers for some reason but he's letting us do it but why He's got to have some bigger plan at play here. Just, just, I just don't know what. Like, yeah, he waited until everyone's sleep, then he created another geyser. I don't know. Chris is... He's up to something, but... I guess we'll just have to wait for the rest of the game to come out. As you see, there's seven chapters. But it's weird, because if you look on... The, I think I mentioned this before, but if you look on the Steam page, it only mentions that there's five chapters. Like, three through five are going to be made. So I'm wondering if, if 6 and 7 maybe have to do with, like, endings or something. I don't know. We'll find out as we get there. But, wow. That's the end of Deltarune for now. So, there's a lot of questions I still have. And I'm very excited for the full game to come out so I can continue playing. But, it's unfortunately not out yet. So, till then, guys. This has been Deltarune, the first two chapters. I played the first chapter a long time ago. I started it. And here I am, finally completed beating it to the end and beating chapter two today so thank you all for watching hope you all enjoyed deltarune we'll be back on it though we're just saying goodbye to it for now we will come back and finish it though but i still got a lot of questions about chris he's ve he's up to something for sure i just don't know what but like i said we'll just have to wait for the rest of the game to get our questions answered but they have hooked me in like I mean, they hooked me in already because it's Deltarune. I already loved Undertale. That already hooked me. But this story is like... Honestly, like, a lot of people are worried because a, a, a sequ usually sequels don't live up to the original game. But the story Deltarune is telling, this definitely keeps up to Undertale. Might even surpass. I don't know if I'm going to go that far yet because the full game's not out. But if they play it right, this could surpass Undertale. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. But yeah, like I said, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you all subscribe and hit that like button if you like this video that much. And share it around to everyone because this was an interesting final episode. Interesting finale to chapter 2. So, yeah. Until next time, though. Like I said, I'll see you guys later. And peace. Have a good day or night, y'all. I'm excited for the rest of this game, man.